everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make elote chicken pasta so if you guys want to know how to make this please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook so if you guys live out here in Southern California you guys know all about elote and how delicious it is so today I'm gonna make a pasta style version at home so let's grab our ingredients and let's get started Aside from all the boiling time, this goes really, really fast. So it's going to be super easy to make and you guys are going to love this one. All you need is 3 quarters cup of chicken. I went ahead and boiled this first. If you guys want to use a rotisserie chicken, any kind of chicken is fine. Just chop it up and get about 3 quarters worth and that's all you need. Next, I did go ahead and start boiling my pasta. You need 6 ounces of this. It doesn't matter what kind. Now let's start mixing up our ingredients together. I'm going to start off with a quarter cup of mayonnaise in here as well as a quarter cup of sour cream. If you'd like to use crema at this point, you can, but because I don't cook with it often, I chose to use something that I do use and that I will end up using the entire container of instead of just letting it sit inside of my refrigerator. Now let's grab two minced garlic cloves and throw that right inside of our large mixing bowl. And then all we're gonna do is just mix, mix, mix. Mix all of this together until everything is well combined and you can taste a little bit of it when you're done, just to make sure you have the good flavor going on. And that's all you need to do to get this part of it started. While we're finishing mixing up, your pasta should be done. So make sure you go ahead and drain that in a colander and set it aside so the water drains. And then throw a cup of corn inside of that same pot and let that boil. Now I did use queso fresco cheese. It's going to crumble just like cotija cheese. If you want to use cotija, you can. Either one works. I did go ahead and cut a third of this up because that's how much I'm going to use. and. I will be using a portion of, I'm just going to cut off a little bit of it just so I can crumble it later to use as part of my garnish. So set that aside when you're done. And just so you know, this cheese is excellent for making some quesadillas. So don't think this is going to waste at all. This is going to be absolutely amazing. All right, so let's grab our cheese and start crumbling this right inside of our bowl. You see how easy it is to crumble? This is why this cheese goes so perfectly in this whole entire mix of a pasta dish. It melts well, it combines well, everything about it is really amazing and you're just going to love this cheese. It's a very mild flavor so nothing overbearing or strong and it's perfect. Alright so let's go ahead and rinse off our hands and grab that basket of pasta. Throw that right inside of our large mixing bowl and then go ahead and grab your corn. That should also be done as well. Drain it beforehand and then throw this inside of your mixing bowl as well. All right, we're gonna start mixing everything and combining it just to get everything started. We do have a few more ingredients to add in and that's it. But go ahead and combine your ingredients first and then let's go ahead and grab that chili powder of ours. If you wanna use chili powder, use half a teaspoon of chili powder. If you'd like to use cayenne pepper with it, I would add a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a quarter teaspoon of chili powder just to mix it up. None of this is spicy at all. You've got your sour cream, you've got your mayo in there. Everything's going to help keep it from being super spicy in any way whatsoever. So it's not overbearing. You're going to love this. It's just all the flavors go so well together. But continue mixing this up and then let's go ahead and grab our butter. I'm going to tell you no, I messed up. You should have added the butter beforehand when you threw your pasta and your corn in there and those are still warm or hot. Then that would have been the perfect time because the butter would have melted then. But I messed up, I forgot, and I'm going to admit to it and own it right now. But I am still going to throw it in there because you need the butter. It's just, it makes it so good. I am going to go ahead and cut mine up into four pieces, four smaller pieces and quarters, I guess, just to help break it up and melt inside of my large mixing bowl because I'm throwing it in so late. It all still worked out in the end, so we're good here, so no problem with that. Now that everything is nicely combined, we're going to go ahead and grab the chicken. By the way, if you don't want to add chicken, you don't have to. Skip it, keep this vegetarian if you'd like. If you do want chicken, go ahead and add the three quarters cup that's already cooked and shredded and throw that all on there and combine it. After you're done combining your chicken, go ahead and grab your salt, throw a pinch in there and mix it up. All we have to do after that is just garnish it with our cheese and some cilantro in a serving side dish and we're done. Now I personally love elote, so this is an amazing side dish for me. I love it so much. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button, like it, share it, and until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.